and self-esteem are interconnected. We support the whole girl. Kelsey is a perfect example of how Girl Scouts promotes healthy living. She keeps herself fit by participating in track at Douglas High School, and she is also involved in the anti-bullying program at her school. As you know, bullying is a major problem, and she is taking action to prevent the emotional issues caused by it. Welcome, Kelsey. I'm a senior Girl Scout in the Carson Valley, and I've been in Girl Scouts for the past 10 years. I'm a sophomore at Douglas High School, where I participate in Key Club, Track, National Honor Society, and Safe School Ambassadors, the, the anti-bullying program. I also take honors classes in English and world history. And in my spare time, I'm an avid artist. I've won first place for two consecutive years, in the National Junior Duck Stamp Competition and a silver key in the Scholastic Program through the National Museum of Art. I like to intertwine my love of art with Girl Scouts, like how I earned my bronze award by redesigning the Carson City Children's Museum dress-up area. Through Girl Scouts, I've learned about team building suspended 40 feet in the air how to lead community events like Thinking Day, and I, just last summer, I went to Girl Scout. I went to Europe with Girl Scouts my own age. But enough about me. I'd like to introduce someone very special to the community, Phyllis Freyer. I had the pleasure of meeting and interviewing this extraordinary woman. Phyllis, whose first job was busting tables in high school, has climbed the ladder of success to Vice President of Renowned Health. Phyllis grew up with five sisters and seven brothers. <laughs> Impressive, right? <laughs> Most of whom were in scouting. Her mother was a night shift nurse who juggled managing her family and the troop leader during the day. Coming from such a large family, Phyllis had to learn to take care of herself and her younger siblings at a young age. She said, I think learning how to jungle, juggle multiple things at once early in life helped prepare me for what I do today. After high school, she received her Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration at Colorado State University and Master's of Science in Health Services Administration to the College of St. Francis in Juliet, Illinois. While at Colorado State, she met her husband, Eric. They have been married for 30 years now and have two grown children, Andrew and Emily. As I mentioned earlier, Phyllis is the Vice President of Renowned Health, which entails overseeing the management of internal and external communications, signage, marketing and advertising, the hospital hotel for patients with visiting family and friends, the hospital foundation, and retail businesses on site. Her favorite parts of her job is mentoring the newer staff members and watching them grow through their experiences. Her, Phyllis's love and appreciation of art is evident in her home, and she is also involved in the Nevada Museum of Art. This led to an interesting work assignment. Aside from her other duties, she also oversees the acquisition of art for the Healing Arts Program at the hospital. The program is meant to surround the patients in a calming atmosphere, so while their bodies are healing, so are their spirits. She said studies have shown where music, paintings, and other art forms stimulate a positive state of being, which in result encourages the patients to get better. As she was explaining this to me, in my head I was wondering, I wonder if I could have any of my work in their halls. <laughs> As the interview progressed, I realized Phyllis and I had multiple common interests. She opened my eyes to the other uses of art and what it can do for people other than the artist. I asked her, if she had any advice she had for young women today. She said, have confidence, stick to your guns, and whenever possible, experience different cultures firsthand. Now, it is my greatest pleasure to introduce a woman of success and leadership, Phyllis Ray.
much what a great job Kelsey did. Thank you, Kelsey. Um, it was such a pleasure to spend time with Kelsey. She and her mother came to my home on the weekend and took, she took time to prepare that introduction. I think it's wonderful that um, we use our Girl Scouts to um, interview you know, our honorees. It's just a great, a great thing. Thank you so much. It was so fun to get to know you. I know you're going to be really successful. You've got a great supportive family and a great organization like the Girl Scouts to support you. Before I get started, I had, I had one special thank you for being here for me today. Governor Sandoval, thank you so much. <laughs> Actually, I, I want to speak to the Girl Scouts here today. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you three quick bits of advice. Um, and bit number one is to have a gang of girls who can be there to support you. I have great work, colleagues, uh, friends, staff members, many of them sitting at the front tables here. They work at Renown and they're a wonderful support network. 